This is verse 22, 15th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus has departed from a controversy with the Pharisees. He's heading north. Uh, the uh, ambiguous description has uh, left commentators scratching their head as to whether Jesus actually passed over the border into Phoenicia, outside the borders of Israel, or stayed within the confines of Israel, but wound up right at the edge of the northern border. So I'll leave that to your own judgment. But one way or another, Jesus uh, is arriving in that area, and of course that's what gives rise to the uh, narrative that continues here from the pen of Matthew, Kai, connective, idu. This is an interjection, it means behold, uh, see, look, it uh, adds a little drama to the narrative. Agune, this is a woman, it's in the uh, nominative, of course it's feminine, singular, so a woman, Kananaya of Canaan, a Canaanite woman, which of course to a Jewish reader is supposed to inspire immediately a bit of disdain. Uh, this woman is described otherwise as Syrophoenician, namely that she was uh, uh, from the region of Syria and Phoenicia, which would be to the north, pagan neighbors to the north of Israel. So a Syrophoenician Canaanite woman. All of that is supposed to inspire in us a bit of uh, appreciation from a Jewish point of view that this was kind of a second-class citizen to say the least. Uh, and probably worse than that. So that's the one that uh, shows up here, a woman of Cana. Apo, uh, preposition, takes the genitive, ton horion, uh, from the uh, um, borders, this word, uh, omicron ro uh, iota, that little root there, should remind you of the English word horizon, which uh, is the same thing. It's a boundary. It's a, it's a point where you have a kind of demarcation and that's the notion. So the boundaries, the borders, uh, that's the idea. So from the borders, a canon, those borders, demonstrative pronoun, it's in the genitive plural, so agrees with horion, from those borders, exil thusa, came out. Not really clear whether it means came across the border into Israel or whether in fact uh, Jesus was already across the border and she simply came, came out of that region. It could go either way. Uh, no great uh, weighty problem hangs on it either way, but it's a bit of a technical point. Uh, so a woman uh, from uh, Canaan, a Canaanite woman, uh, from out of those borders came out. She exited. She came. Uh, a Krodzin, from Krodzo, I cry out. This is the third person singular. Uh, here is active indicative, cried out. Present participle, legusa, from lego I say. This is... This is in the nominative here. It uh, agrees with the woman herself. She came out uh, saying, and then uh, the actual speech she gives here, Eliason from Eleeo, uh, means uh, mercy, I show mercy. This is the second person singular of the verb. Uh, it would be much more literally rendered as mercy uh, me, mercy me. Uh, of course, it's translated idiomatically into English as have mercy on me, but uh, technically it's mercy me, a more active idea, really, I think, in Greek. Curia, this is the vocative, so mercy me, uh, Lord. Uh, huios, nominative, huios, David of David. She, of course, is not a, a Jewish woman. She's not a member of the covenant community, but nevertheless she knows by reputation this title, and maybe she's trying by this simple means to ingratiate herself to him. She's probably had no other dealings with Jesus, and so she's trying to use the most complimentary uh, way of addressing him that she can dream up. So, mercy me, Lord, son of David, he thugater, the daughter uh, in the uh, nominative, the daughter mu, possessive pronoun of me, Kakos and declinable adverb badly. Uh, Daimonidzetai from Daimonidzomai. I am grievously vexed. The middle voice here implies that it uh, kind of goes to the uh, person themselves, a kind of reflexive uh, notion here. Uh, the daughter of me is, is demon possessed, is uh, vexed, uh, troubled, uh, made really made miserable by the presence of a demon. So that's the 
presenting problem as this woman comes desperate for possible help from Jesus. And of course, uh, creates a bit of a stir, probably among the disciples. Jesus himself puts her off a bit, as we're going to see in the ensuing story, before ultimately uh, giving her the request that she has uh, offered